Our hope for our patio space was to have a nice place to eat dinner at the end of the day, but this is what we were working with. A patio that had been neglected for about seven years. I hoped to reuse the base, so I removed the top of the table and purchased about $40 worth of wood to create a new top. A simple cleanup of the legs and a new coat of paint finished the base. For the top, I sanded, spread some whitewash, and a nice new coat of stain. Yeah. I'm waiting for this to dry so I can cover it. Thanks, man. It's coming along. After a few coats of poly and some Facebook Marketplace chairs that I found for $20 a piece, we were ready to start assembling the patio. This is how I hung the lights. A planter, some quick crete, a pole, and a little bit of duct tape to keep it straight while it cured. At the top of the pole I used a U-bolt and a clip fastener to hook the lights on easily. The two sides that were fastened to the house I drilled directly into the siding but this setup helped me to cross the span of the patio. And here's a little trick for connecting an extension cord with your light cord if it happens to be across the span. I just use zip ties, one on each end, and then a third one to connect the two together. Now for the bench. I wanted a rustic boho looking skinny bench and I had an old rustic beam that was reclaimed for free. I just reused some leftover pieces of 4x4 for the legs. After the four legs were cut, I used a dowel rod to secure them to the top. And these were all the pieces ready for putting together. Next, we wanted to work on a centerpiece using a leftover piece of rustic barn beam wood. The candles were pressed firmly into some drilled holes I'll add a card here if you would like to see the full tutorial, but it added a lot of drama for just the price of candles, which was about $6. All of these budget elements came together for a $120 patio refresh. Now this space is warm and inviting. I can't wait to spend our summer evenings out here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos and hit that little bell if you would like to receive notifications. Until next time.